<laughs> oh, that's hot. That's hot. Back when the Sonic the Hedgehog movie was announced as a live-action CGI hybrid film, I didn't really like the sound of that. Then we heard stuff about Tom the Cop, and we heard about Jim Carrey Eggman, then we saw that the town in the movie is called Green Hill, and then filming was done. I was thinking, this is a total cartoon, this is a goddamn parody. This is taking how stupid the idea of a live-action Sonic movie is, and embracing it, rolling with it. I expected this movie to be a complete comedic romp the whole way through. But then what about Sonic himself in the movie? For a movie called Sonic the Hedgehog, we didn't really know a lot about Sonic the Hedgehog. So a few days ago, we got this. And as you might expect, I think this design is bad. And anybody else would stop there. But considering that this issue isn't as non-divisive as people claim it is, I feel like the reasoning should be made very clear. Problem number one should be fairly obvious. The body. It looks like a toddler's body or a scaled down fat guy. The hands and feet are pretty regular sized, which is kind of a problem because these things are exaggerated as hell on Sonic's actual design. They're huge features that make you look at him and think, that's Sonic. If you scaled these down on actual Sonic, it would look terrible. And that's kind of what they've done here. And then compare this to the gigantic head, which now looks completely out of place. Why would you tone down some features that didn't need toning down at all, but then keep the head gigantic of all things? This just looks wrong. Although, on the other hand, using Sonic's actual design would have looked weird too. You could bring up the argument that Sonic should be like a cartoon, or that the movie should just be full on CGI, and all of those points I agree with. But do keep in mind I still want to look into this as what it is, which is a realistic film with a realistic depiction of Sonic. If they're gonna lay out those rules for me, I'm gonna play by them. The first step to improving this design is actually very simple. Change his muscular limbs to something that's more flowing. Something that doesn't look like furry little man legs. From there, the next step is to simply make his hands and feet bigger. Original shoe design completely optional, but I think it makes the shoes look less generic. While you're at it, you can change up the torso a bit, give him gloves and socks, and hey, not so bad anymore. The way I would have normally done it would have been to do something similar to the 06 concept design, but again, I'm trying to abide by a set of rules here. And that's it, really. Just put some thought into it. Because this just looks like you slapped Sonic's head on a little man. I mean, I'll roll with this design if the face looks good. I think Ben Schwartz's performance might save it. But like, just because some people can tolerate this doesn't mean you can't do better. Because really, who would complain about a better design anyway? That's right, nobody.